Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 15th of 2022 well, it is titled Lubovna Full Moon. So what do we see here? Well, over Lubovna Castle, or just to the right of it, we do see the full moon. And this is the full moon that occurred on July 13th, so just a couple of days ago. And we can see the full moon there. And we can also see some of the distortions with it, especially on the lower limb, because we're looking through so much more atmosphere. And we can also see the color distorted, because again, we're looking through atmosphere, and that tends to change the color and make it look a little bit redder. Now in this case it doesn't look red or orange but it does look a distinct yellow and much darker uh, coloring coloration than we were used to seeing when we see the moon higher in the sky. Now this is again an example of a supermoon and we've seen supermoons over the last couple of months. The supermoon is the full moon that occurs near perigee. Perigee is the point in the moon's elliptical orbit where it appears where it is closest to our Earth and that makes it appear a little larger and a little brighter in the sky. Will you notice any difference if you looked at the moon these couple day, last couple of days? No, you won't. You won't notice any difference. It's not easily visible to the naked eye unless you could see a super moon and a regular full moon side by side. Then you would be able to tell the difference between the two. But here you will look just like a full moon to you. And in this case, the full moon was a good amount closer. It was about 357,000 kilometers away from Earth versus the average distance of 384,000 kilometers. So that's 27,000 kilometers closer to Earth, but still just a few percent. So while the moon's orbit is elliptical, it is not highly elliptical. So our moon does not get extremely close and go extremely far, far away as it would in a highly elliptical orbit. And in fact, the moon's orbit is very close to being circular. But there is enough of a difference that we can see uh, that we do get things like a supermoon and a mini or micro moon, which occurs at the other times when a full moon would occur when the moon is at apogee or its furthest point from Earth. So here we get to see over the castle, we get to see a full moon and again, one of the super moons that occurred this year. So that was our picture of the day for July 15th of 2022. It was titled Lobovna Full Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Clavius and Tycho. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.